Rolling Loud, California, wrapped up, we're all disappointed, Vultures 2 is not here, we gotta talk about it, there's only a little bit of hope left, so let's talk about this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything surrounding hip-hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. So, Rolling Loud, California happened, that Thursday performance of Ye and Dollar Sign, Ye anti Dollar Sign, performing apparently Vultures 2 as Rolling Loud and themselves promoted through that listening experience, but it was honestly a huge disappointment. Uh, he was actually quite on time, more so than we thought he would be. There was no official live stream, but there were live broadcasts of people on Instagram or on Twitter where you could kind of through a phone perspective and quality see the performance. It wasn't that long, especially when you consider that the last 30 minutes were just them walking off stage and old songs playing, which was, I guess at that point, very disappointing. And also, obviously, the big thing, Vultures 2 didn't get played. We had Vultures 1, a set list of Vultures 1, which um, wasn't even performed live by them. It was just a playback, like a listening experience, like the ones we've had in Phoenix or San Francisco just this week, or the ones we've had in Europe, or the ones we've had for Vultures 1. So this wasn't any different. This was just like the two listening experiences we've had earlier this week, which was a disappointment because we thought this was going to be the performance that they would actually then perform Vultures 2. So Vultures 2 wasn't played even though Kanye wore the jacket with the number 2 on it, which people thought at the beginning, oh shit, it's about to go down. He's wearing that 2 jacket. That means they're going to perform new material. Vultures 2 material never happened. And I think a lot of fans left disappointed, especially we consider that some people paid hundreds of dollars to get there. I mean, for, you know, three day pass owner it was free but I mean there were like separate tickets sold I believe which Rolling Loud put up like a couple of days before and I think a lot of people paid a lot of money to get there just to get that performance when everybody was hyping it up like that just to kind of go over a couple of references Rolling Loud was very vocal on social media as well announcing that the vultures are here and that this would be the big volume to a listening experience that they promoted earlier also back in February a month ago we were talking about when this thing was actually going to be dropping and I mean this screenshot was all over social media along with a couple of others but somebody asked them if you know Kanye and Ty were actually going to perform or just stand there like at a listening party and Rolling Loud back then very you know directly just answered perform which obviously wasn't the case they were just standing there and they were just listening to the songs jumping around dancing like they do at all of these listening experiences another one that we've had just from three days ago so very shortly before this performance was somebody asking is he performing or is it a listening party and rolling loud replied to this you don't see a listening experience on the yeezy flyer do you at the yeezy flyer they're referencing is that square announcement picture of like the other ones we've had for the other listening parties for Rolling Loud. It doesn't say listening experience, it just says Rolling Loud, but it, apparently that didn't even matter. It was just a listening experience. And for Rolling Loud to be this vocal about it, to be this open about it, to tease it that much, to get people to try and purchase those tickets, to see them perform and hyping it up with false expectations and blatantly lying, that is, that is not a good look, man. I, I don't think Rolling Loud has really saved face in this one. And I mean, they even had the audacity. And I, I mean, I got to laugh about this, but honestly, it's, it's really, it's hilarious. You know, they then after the listening party, after everybody was disappointed, they put out a tweet three times just saying, I'm just here to get paid, which is obviously the line from paid by, you know, Ye and Dollar Sign. Um, but they were referencing Kanye and Ty just showing up to get paid and not coming through with the promised performance. And this takes some audacity, goddamn. But in some way it's funny, but like a uh, sad funny. There were some guests on stage, Quavo was there for example, but really it was nothing special, nothing really, you know, it is comparable to the other ones we've had. There's nothing special about this or even nothing concerning Vultures 2, not even an announcement. And obviously to address the elephant in the room, Vultures 2 is not here. We'll talk about if it can still come over the next two days and at the end of the video, but let's talk about a couple of other things before. Uh, we've had this one interesting post 
post by somebody who shared a DM that they've received from some casting company uh, where they're apparently looking for people for Rolling Loud for vultures to be part of an onstage performance that in the end didn't happen. But here it says, hi, hope you're doing well. We're currently casting a group of talent to perform on stage with Ye and Ty Dolla Sign at Rolling Loud Festival tomorrow. We would love to consider you if you're interested and available. Details listed below. Artist Ye and Dolla Sign, director Vanessa Beecroft, who's worked with Kanye in the past. If you click on her website, blah, blah, blah. And then she will be directing a performance, sort of a marching piece. Dancing experience is not necessary. And you might remember Don the Two also had some of these, you know, big groups, groups of people just in a circle revolving around the center that Kanye was performing at. That looked pretty cool. And I'm guessing this was something that they also wanted to realize. It just never happened. It was just Ye and Dollar Sign on that stage jumping around. So I don't know how this got lost in, in, in the whole production for this thing, but it got lost. So maybe there was something different planned and maybe even something for Vultures too, but maybe they couldn't get it done in time or there was some problem they ran into. So they just, you know, they were just like, okay, we're just going to do this cheap performance and then focus on the release after, which is, yo, you got months to prepare this thing. We knew Rolling Loud was happening for at least, with Yane Dollar Sign, for at least over a month. Like, that's sad. We can stay a little bit positive though, and uh, Yay Fanatics put up an update right before the listening experience, before the disappointment, but he also said it is being speculated that Vultures 2 may be available after or during the LP at Rolling Loud tonight. Not confirmed, only speculated. Obviously, it didn't get made available during the uh, LP, but maybe we still have a couple of hours today, or even Saturday or Sunday. But the problem is we didn't even hear finished versions of Vultures 2 now. That was the hope for the yesterday for Rolling Loud. And we heard Vultures 1 also before it dropped. Now we didn't even hear Vultures 2 at a Vultures 2 listening experience. What is happening? So I, I really have very, very little hope left that it's even going to be this weekend or if we got to wait another week for this. One more thing that I wanted to address is that we have the announcement that um, Cardi B Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign will be on Big Boy Show just in a couple of hours. Maybe they're going to address some of the Rolling Loud stuff that people are disappointed. I can honestly see this going into a whole nother direction with Kanye going on a rant and Ty just sitting there and, you know, throwing in some affirmative comments um, and them not even addressing the album. They may be even ignoring the fact that it didn't drop on time twice now and just talking about how great the new album is. Honestly, that is what I'm expecting from this show that they're now part of and uh, let's see how this goes i've seen some footage of big boy already backstage with kanye so i'm guessing that it's all a mess about you know what they're going to talk about they probably were even surprised themselves like big boy and his team that they didn't perform like they promised so they can't really talk about that it's going to be interesting to see how that whole thing plays out but i'll keep you all updated but for now i want to know what y'all think about this what do you think of vultures 2 not dropping what do you think of the rolling loud performance that the two of them delivered and were you expecting this or is this really disappointing let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.